Salad isn't just a side dish anymore. Try it as a meal instead. Skip the lettuce and tomatoes and try my pear and gorgonzola salad. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep this all very simple, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't do it, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and watch a new episode every single week. Today, as you see, we are here again in our little mountain hideaway in our favorite little campground. So bear with us. There may be some extra noises, occasional golf cart or dog barking, maybe some birds flying through, but we'll do our best to muddle through. Now it's the middle of summer and it's getting hotter and hotter as the day goes on. So I thought for our celebration today for lunch, we're gonna have something cooling and refreshing we're gonna have a pear and gorgonzola salad. So let's get started. Now, here I have a great big tray of romaine lettuce that I just chopped up. This is just gonna be the bed. You know romaine lettuce, big wide green leaves, nice and hearty, makes a great Caesar salad. I've got all my stuff here, and this is gonna be a fast episode because we're just assembling. First up, Radicchio. This is radicchio. Now it looks like a little red cabbage, but it's not. It's part of the chicory family and it has a nice bitterness to it. Romaine has like a nice meaty, grassy feel. The, the radicchio, besides giving this beautiful red color, adds a little bitter note. Now we're just going to spread this around haphazardly messily. You can, if you wanted to do, make this a beautifully composed salad. But I prefer, we're outside, the messiness in all of its glory. Now I kind of chopped this up in big chunks because this is going to be a meal. So we can just cut it down, mostly bite size. Next on this is endive, or endive. This is what endive looks like. It's also part of the chicory family. And it comes in these little tiny little heads and they grow it underground or in low lighting so it's very white. Now these are easy. I'm just going to take the whole leaves off and place them around. Endive has a very mild taste but also just a little hint of bitterness. But they're great little leaves and they have great crunch. I'll just pull a few off of this one, whoops. And I'm gonna leave them whole again, just for the different textures. Now I got this idea for the salad. A friend of ours made it for us a few weeks ago, my friend Lance, so thanks to you, Lance. This is my version of it that I've been inspired, i.e. Lance, I'm ripping off your idea. Next is the pears. I have some pears here, it's chopped up roughly. We're gonna scatter these about. Great way pears. And in fact, these pears I bought were just on the edge of being overripe, so I'm happy to use them today. Now the pears are going to add a little sweetness. They're going to go great with the gorgonzola cheese and against all this bitterness of the radicchio. Now I have some big slices of pears I'm also going to mix in just again for a little difference in texture. All right, that's enough of that. Next is hazelnuts. These are hazelnuts, also known as filbert nuts. You get these in the bakery section where they have all of the other nuts, walnuts and pecans and everything. All I do is I chop them roughly and then I toasted them a little bit in a dry pan. It only takes maybe a minute or two in a hot dry skillet. And you just do it until you start to smell the nuts toasting. And you want to stay there and watch it like a hawk. You don't want to answer your telephone or walk away or look at Facebook or anything. 
So we're just gonna scatter these about. This is gonna add another crunch level and a little meaty flavor, and they're fun because they just roll off everything like that. All right, this is about three ounces, and I don't think I need to even use all of it. Next is the gorgonzola. Gorgonzola that I crumbled up. Now, gorgonzola is a type of blue cheese. Some of them are a little more mild, some of them are a little stinkier. This one is kind of in the middle, so it has that nice bite, but it's also very, very creamy. It's gonna be a great match with the pears and the radicchio. And again, just haphazardly scattering. Now I'm doing this on a big plate because there's just a few of us here for lunch. If you were doing this for dinner, you could do these on individual plates. You could arrange them beautifully like we did the cob salad that one time. Yeah, there's just all kinds of ways you can do it. Limited by your imagination. All righty. I'm going to use all this cheese because I love it. And everyone here loves it too. Okay. Now for the dressing. I'm using today a little lemon vinaigrette that I whipped up. Another option would be a balsamic vinaigrette. Use whatever you like, but I would use a vinaigrette rather than a creamy dressing. Now I'm going to pre-dress this for lunch just because it's just nicer that way. It looks prettier. As long as you don't overdo it, your vegetables won't wilt. There we go. Now, how beautiful is that? And look how fast it went together. Now for the favorite part, the tasting. You know, the things I do for you. I'm just gonna sneak a little bit off the side here. I'm gonna get a little bit of pear, and a little piece of cheese, and maybe one little piece of radicchio right there. They'll never know. Mmm. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. So we get this bitter, crunchy radicchio, creamy, tangy, pungent blue cheese, all brought together by the sweetness of the pear and the tang of the vinaigrette. Now, I have a little gin and tonic here today because it's hot. Gin and tonics are refreshing. Mmm. Good stuff. So that's our pear and gorgonzola salad. Now remember, as always, guys, we're going to have this recipe all up on the comment section of YouTube and up on Facebook and everywhere else. Remember, send us in those comments, send us in those pictures, keep subscribing, keep hitting that subscribe button. We love hearing from you. We love new subscribers too. So as always, we'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you're always invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.